our next panelist, Mr. Anil Goyal. Anil, you are an expert and uh, AAA rated and a AAA named uh, insolvency company and uh, one of the best in the country today. Let, let me congratulate you on the good work that you've done for the country and uh, for IBC. Thank so, you. So, so are you, you know that ARCs need to be allowed as RA, which has already been discussed with ABCG. But my question to you is regarding the updated version of IBC, which is the pre-packed insolvency. Currently, the RBI guidelines do not suggest or do not mandatorily ask to bank, bank to ask the, to adopt the policies of OTS funding by ARCs by way of AOD. Don't you think with prepack insolvency, bank has to have compulsorily adopt OTS AOD policy under the compromise which has already been approved? Don't you think this is need of the hour? Uh, thank you, thank you, Pradeep. Uh, but then, uh, to my understanding, this prepack into insolvency resolution process is the best so far under the IBC. Uh, it it is a consensual process. It actually will have much lesser litigation. It is much lesser expensive. As far as the timeline is concerned, although it is, we, we call it PIRP, uh, pre-packaged insolvency resolution process, we call it PIRP. But although it is mentioned that the timeline is only 120 days, but there is a timeline which is even before this 120 days starts. So when I say this before 90 days and then NCLT timing and then so, so on an average, this will be a process of about 240 days. If I assume that 60 days will be taken by the financial creditors to accept in principle whether the PIRP has to be allowed, permitted or not. So in case we assume just 30 days to NCLT and 60 days to the financial creditors before they take in principle decision, so it will come about 240 days. So this is, uh, since it's a consensual uh, kind of a structure and uh, like the the MSME, MSME corporate debtor will have to convince the uh, financial creditors that in case you would not go with me in this structure, then there will be a larger difficulties ahead. Maybe CIRP, maybe, maybe complete uh, uh, like uh, closure of operations and then you might even invoke surface C. So all this has to be convinced. So the base resolution plan, which will be prepared by the uh, MSME corporate debtor, that has to be something which is acceptable. So the structure has been uh, made in, in a manner uh, since the regulations and the rules and uh, uh, the ordinance all are out. And the it is implemented in such a lightning speed that it, today even we can file an application to adjudicating authority for PIRP. So this kind of consensual system, like one that it is not coercive, the debtor continues to remain in the uh, possession of uh, the assets. The business continuity is the responsibility of the corporate debtor, means board of directors. The board of directors are not suspended. So this actually, I don't see who would actually oppose. Once this application is filed, which is not a coercive action, who will, uh, uh, who will oppose? So the corporate debtor himself itself is filing then the uh, the financial creditors have already agreed in for in principle continuing with the process of pirp mm -hmm. so i don't think there will be any kind of opposition to this application so as provided in the law 14 days the nclt will pass an order declare the pirp and appointment of rp so pradeep this is the uh, kind of the best scenario i think the government is moving on to uh, rather than coercive action, it is moving on to something which is a consensual kind of uh, resolution. In case you see this uh, national uh, ARC, national ARC is also maybe for larger cases, the national ARC will help consensual kind of arrangement between the creditors. And in the MSME sector, this PIRP will actually go for the consensual kind of structuring, restructuring, one time settlement, everything. No, but yeah, one thing I would like to add, uh, please, please. Yeah, my, only like my only contention was that, you know, there has to be a guideline by RBI that banks should compulsorily make amendments in the policy to accept OTS by way of assignment of debt to ARC in cases where such insolvency, pre-pack insolvency or compromise has been arrived at. Because a lot of banks today, they do not 
allow assignment of debt, even if he also wants to pay 100% upfront so that bank and the compromise is settled and it is finished. So that is uh, the main contention here. Yeah, please tell your analogy. Sorry, I interrupted. I think, uh, I think you are right. The uh, Presently, the, uh, the biggest incentive for the financial institutions, banks would be that uh, for PIRP, there is no provisioning requirement as of now. Once the PIRP is uh, uh, approved by NCLT, mm -hmm. once the restructuring is done, then probably the account will be considered as a restructured account and all those IRAC norms of restructured accounts would be applicable. So this is an additional advantage to uh, financial institution that instead of CIRP, they would, pre they would prefer uh, the PIRP. Also, I think, Pradeepji, what you have said, in case the uh, accounts are assigned to ARCs, the resolution would be faster, the resolution would be better, and also there will be some possibility yes. of additional funding. That yes. also would be possible. Yes. So, to my understanding, this uh, the both the things like NARC and PIRP is going towards consensual uh, resolution rather than coercive action. Yeah, thank you, Anandji. Thank you, Anandji. Thank you for uh, your uh, expert views. Since we are already running out of time and we started very late, so I would uh, thank all the panelists here. Thank you for joining us today and thank you for allowing us questions and giving your inputs and sharing your thoughts. And uh, we are highly delighted, and at least I am delighted to learn more and become a better knowledgeable person. I can say that. Mera, you know, if I was in class 11, I was in class 12, ke andar mein do ke class pass ho gaya hon, main aage gaya hon. you know, I'm just progressing in my knowledge and education. Thank you very much. I would like to now in, invite Anirji to give vote of thanks and the concluding remarks, please. Thank you very much, Pradeep ji. Like, it is definitely a, a privilege for me to uh, give a formal vote of thanks to all the uh, uh, panelists today. Uh, the uh, first of all, I would uh, uh, thank the Asocham, the organization, uh, as uh, giving us all this opportunity uh, to participate, connect with the uh, participants, and to choose uh, uh, such an august uh, battery of uh, panelists to discuss this very, very important issue of uh, bad bank, uh, the NPAs, and also uh, the input by uh, 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 by Mr. Mishra, he he was also saying that he's the only person who is managing risk, and uh, then he also says that the uh, the kind of digitalization is actually at a very very uh, advanced stage, and he would probably link all PSCs and district cooperative uh, societies also. The I think Mr. Goel Pradeep Goel has actually done a wonderful job uh, mentoring it well and. Uh, your focus is always on the ARCs and how the business model of the ARCs can be made in such a manner that every ARC should survive and also the level playing field with the, the big brother that is now going to come into your uh, industry. And that big brother, in case that big brother will have sovereign uh, guarantee on, uh, on SRs, that probably will be a very big uh, thing that you will have to fight for. and. Uh, 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 like he will have to play this a role he like whatever uh, Mr. Goel is saying as regards ARC's level playing field. How can you bring this level playing field as we are hearing that the government might give guarantee to SRs issued by the big brother and the younger brother will, ha will not have this uh, uh, sovereign guarantee. So how would the level playing field would be created by you? Although uh, you have an option to participate once the price is settled by the big brother the younger brother can also say no i will also give two percent better than i can also take up but this two percent whether it will be accepted by the uh, lenders or not that's a very very big question because of the sovereign guarantee and also because of the uh, psu to psu transaction is always uh, considered to be much safer for any bank official to take a decision so the big way as far as Pradeep is concerned, Pradeep has put a bigger responsibility on a wizard to handle this part. Otherwise, this ARC industry is looking like, and also uh, Mr. Nirmal Gangwal has also given this particular stress on this uh, return on investment, a viable business model for ARCs. So this probably the conclusion of this particular, uh, all these discussions is uh, that the ARCs must have a good model. ARCs. Sanjay Jain also added that the ARCs, this 
institution as an institution the arc should be considered all the 20 arcs should be considered as one institution and should be able to compete with the big brother that's basically the outcome of today's discussion thank you very much all the panelists and thanks SHM. Uh, so it's my pleasure to be uh, a part of this uh, discussion thank, thank you thank you all thank, yeah, thank, you, th all. thank you very much thank you very much have a nice day and a safe if we and uh, and this month and next month and forever thank you thank, thank you. you thank you thank you, thank you so much sir.